Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie Sara. In this video today, I'm gonna show you things you can do in Fukuoka. Fukuoka is the largest city in Kyushu. It's a city loved by tourists because of its amazing scenery, culture, and mouth-watering food! In this video, I'm going to be showing you six amazing things you should do in Fukuoka. Number one, have a stroll around the canals. Fukuoka is famous for their canals around the city. There are some cafes around the canals too, so it would be nice to have a break if you ever get tired from walking too much. The canals are beautiful both by day and by night. Number two, go shopping at Canal City. Canal City is a large shopping mall located just beside a canal. You can find both Japanese and international shops here. Oh, and why not enjoy their fountain show? Woohoo! Woo! Whee! The souvenir shop on the ground floor was actually pretty good. You can get a lot of different types of souvenirs here. Mentaiko biscuits. Mmm. Canal City is great if it's raining and you don't want to do anything outdoors. Just what I needed because it was pouring rain during my stay in Fukuoka. Yeah. Number three, experience the open air food stalls or yatai. Fukuoka is famous for having the yatai culture where people gather around this small food stall and mingle together, along with alcohol and nice food. There are two major food stall areas within Fukuoka, Tenjin and Nakasu. I will explain this in a future video, but I highly, highly recommend you go to the Tenjin food stalls rather than the Nakasu food stalls. It's good to have a few drinks and a few dishes at these food stalls. Although these food stalls are popular amongst tourists, I did meet a few locals. You might be able to make local friends here. Number 4. Visit Dazaifu Tenmangu. Dazaifu Tenmangu is one of the most popular Shinto shrines in Japan. The shrine is about 250 meters from one end to the other, which is pretty large. Dazaifu Tenmangu is known to be a shrine of learning, culture, and the arts. Many students come here to get good luck charms to help them pass exams. I was one of them. So I've been to Dazaifu actually about 10 years ago and I bought this omamori or like lucky charm when I came here. Um, it's for like good luck in terms of like academics and now I don't need it because obviously um, I'm not like fully studying. So I'd like to give this back and also look at this. It's so so dirty now. I've been using this throughout my whole student life. So in these places you can give them back in the original place so um, I will give it back at the designated place. I do believe that after getting this lucky charm, um, I did study very hard to get into university. So I feel like it did do a good job. So yeah, it's now time to give it back and say thank you to this lucky charm. I'm now gonna give it back. It's been like 10 years. Thank you. When you visit Dazaifu, you have to try out umegae mochi. It's a famous snack in this region. I got the umegae mochi. I had to wait for quite a while, maybe like for 10 minutes just outside, but it's finally here and it's, it is very, very hot. So, itadakimasu. Mm, oh my god. The red bean paste has the perfect sweetness and oh my god, the outside is so crispy and the temperature is just amazing. Mm. Number 5. Drive around Itoshima Itoshima is a beach area on the western part of Fukuoka and is just an hour drive from central. There are a lot of small tourist attractions within Itoshima, so it's best to rent a car to go around the area. 
I'll show you the things you can do in Itoshima. Go on the palm tree swing. Yes, everyone out there, get your phones out and go on this highly Instagrammable swing. Of course it looks nice, but the breeze you get on the swing is actually very refreshing. You can take a picture with a shark or go on the ship. Sakurai Futamigaura's Couple Stones. This is probably the most popular place within Itoshima. The two stones is called Meotoiwa in Japanese, which means married stones. The two stones together represent marriage. I am now at the Futamigaura Couple Stone. And you can see that there are two stones, two large stones over here and a tori gate. I swear, these just look like stones. So you can literally name any stone anything and you'd get tourists all around. It's interesting, but it's nice. It's a very nice beach while oh, they're taking photos. Yay! London Bus Cafe. If you're from the UK and you're feeling homesick, you can have some gelato at a London Bus Cafe. I mean, why not? Totoro's forest. So this is the Totoro forest and you can see all the Totoro vibe. Yay! I might be able to see a Totoro here. The entrance to the Keano Auto Park is referred to as the Totoro's forest. If you go through Totoro's forest, you'll find a lookout point where you can have a view of the sea and the cliff. Oh my god! Well, at least that's what it says in the description. So that over there is meant to be the Kayano Oto, however, you can't see it that well because of all the trees. Shiraito Falls. Shiraito means white strings because when the water falls in between the rocks, they look like white strings. Apparently it's one of the best um, tourist sites in Itoshima. The nature around it is great and is a great place to relax. When I see a big waterfall like this, it reminds me of this big waterfall that I saw in Sofia, Bulgaria. It was up the mountains and online it said that it's going to be an easy hike. It takes like an hour to go up and down. Um, it takes an hour to go up and then another hour to like get down. So I didn't have any hiking shoes on. My friends didn't either. And um, we were just like, yeah, let's just go. Apparently the waterfall's really nice. So then we went, but then it was quite a tough hike. And it was after it rained or something. So it was quite slippery and the waterfall was beautiful but it was something like this so here you can just come up by car and you're going to be able to see it like directly after you get off the car so I definitely recommend this place don't hike up the mountain for two hours with normal shoes on after it rains that was not a great experience that over there is the parking number six take a mini trip to Yanagawa Yanagawa is a city in Fukuoka that is just about an hour away from central Fukuoka. It's often referred to as the city of water and Venice of Kyushu because of the large number of canals present across the city. At Yanagawa, you can enjoy Kawakudari or river cruise, which is really an amazing experience. I took so many clips from Yanagawa, so I'll be making a separate video focusing on Yanagawa. If you are interested, make sure you watch that video too. Oh, they're famous for their unagi or eel rice bowl. If you are a fan of eels, Yanagawa is the place to be. Alright guys, that's it for the video today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese food and culture. Bye!